The movie begins in 1963 in France. Anne is in her dorm with her friends, preparing to go out to a party. Anne and Brigitte manage to convince Hélène, who is reluctant to go out. They go to the party and enjoy the night dancing to the music. Later, she is approached by a guy, who claims to be a fireman, trying to ask her to dance with him, but she quickly turns him down. She goes to the bar and asks a classmate, Jean, to buy her a Coke. Jean tells her about the girls who keep on watching her. She claims that they are spying on her as they believe the rumors that she is promiscuous. Jean asks if it is true, but she ignores the question. The next day, Anne sits in her literature class at Angoulême. After the professor finishes reading the poem out loud, he asks his students to interpret it. When no one volunteers to do so, he calls out one student, but she doesn't know the answer. When Anne's friends gossip about the girl, suddenly, and gets called on to answer. She answers his questions perfectly, impressing everyone. After class, Anne and her friends lounge around after class, and Alain voices her anxiety about failing the exams. Brigitte does as well, claiming her mind keeps wandering about, but Anne promises to help them study for the exams. Later, Anne checks to see if she has already gotten her period, but she still hasn't and writes it in her diary, it has been three weeks since her last one. While visiting her family in the country, her mother immediately points out that she looks pale as a ghost and asks her if she is sick. When her mother worriedly checks her temperature. And assures her it might just be because of the hot weather. Her sister asks Anne about her school, and her mother proudly claims she is already graduating with an honorable mention. Her sister tells her to stop being modest, as they know she is gifted. The next day, Anne goes to see her doctor. The doctor recalls that she had the flu last winter and didn't want to miss her classes, unlike other patients he's had. During the examination, the doctor asks if she has had sexual relations with anyone or even a boyfriend, but she claims she hasn't. When he asks if she is late with her period, she doesn't answer. Despite insisting she is still a virgin, the doctor informs her she is pregnant. Anne begs him to do something about the pregnancy, and he refuses, insisting what she is asking is illegal and anyone who helps can end up in jail, as well as her. He tells her that a girl tries to do so every month, but they end up dying in an excruciating pain. He warns her not to be that kind of girl. When she gets to her dorm, she checks to see if she has started showing any signs of pregnancy. And goes to the library and checks some books about pregnancy and the female reproductive system. She quickly stops as she sees a classmate of hers approaching. When Anne and her friends go out to eat, she hungrily eats her food while her friends are studying for the exams. She explains that she's just hungry and encourages them to eat to get their strength up for a whole day of classes. Later, she checks the dorm shared refrigerator and smells the contents of some Tupperware, choosing what foods can satiate her cravings, but she stops when her roommate approaches. Her dormmate says someone has been stealing her food, as her stuff isn't on the shelf she left it on, clearly blaming Anne. When Anne returns to her dorm after showering, she receives a letter, and it's her pregnancy certificate. She angrily tears it up and throws it in the trash. It has been four weeks since her last period. So, Anne decides to see another doctor in the city. She tells him that she is pregnant but wants to continue her studies, as it is essential for her to do so. The doctor tells her to leave and not make a scene. And tells him that she won't go and demands he helps her. So the doctor reluctantly prescribes her a shot, claiming it will induce menstruation. She performs the shot on herself when she returns to her dorm, hoping it will work. The next day, she enters the class and finds a dirty photo in one of her books. She shows it to her friends, telling them to be discreet. When they see it, they ask who it's from. And suspects it's from the girl sharing nasty rumors about her and voices her anger at her bullies. It has been five weeks since Anne's last period, and she vomits in the bathroom. She hears someone else in the room and checks who it is, but thankfully the girl doesn't acknowledge her vomiting. Later, Anne and her friends are watching the boys play football. One of the guys approaches them with a scraped knee, asking for a handkerchief. Brigitte helps him clean the wound, and all the while, she looks at him flirtatiously. After cleaning the injury, the guy thanks her and calls her gorgeous. And tells Brigitte that her handkerchief is now ruined. Alain comments that all the guys show off, and Brigitte knows that they do, which is why she flirts, while all the guys call her a tease. She wants to go further but wants to choose the right guy to be with. And says that it might end up with her getting pregnant, but there are methods to ending it. Brigitte tells her not to joke about something like that, but Anne isn't kidding, unbeknownst to them. Then, Anne nervously approaches Jean for help, as he knows a lot of girls. She informs him she is pregnant and doesn't want to keep it. She follows him when he insists he doesn't know anyone who can help her, insisting on his help. He leads her home, where they have dinner to speak about it privately. He asks her who the father is, she explains that a man was visiting from Bordeaux. When he asks if the man knows, she says he doesn't. Jean pesters her more about it, annoying her, so she prepares to leave. 
Jean stops her and suggests having sex, insisting there is no risk since she is already pregnant. She immediately turns him down and leaves. She gets back to her dorm and showers, where she's harassed in the dorm showers by a classmate, who accuses her of being a loose woman and spreading sexually transmitted diseases. And angrily tells them to leave her alone, and they taunt her that they know that she went out last night. Having enough of them, she leaves and cries in her bedroom in despair. It has been seven weeks since Anne's last period. Their professor hands them back their assignments during class, commenting on their disappointing scores. When he returns Anne's paper, he looks at her sadly, and she keeps her paper quickly, not wanting her friends to see her low score. After class, the professor talks to her privately and asks her to explain her failing grades. He tells her to do better as her chance of graduating with honors is slipping away. Later, she goes to a bar, drinking away her problems. Guys ask her to dance, and eventually, she obliges. One guy even asks her to go home with him. Fortunately for her, Brigitte and Jean stop her from leaving with the guy, and they bring her back to her dorm. In her dorm, Brigitte and Alain ask her what's going on with her. So, she shows them her baby bump. And assures them she isn't keeping it and asks them for help, but they are speechless. Alain speaks up and says it's not their problem, and they can't help her as they would be imprisoned. Brigitte tells her to do whatever she wants, and they abandon her. Soon, she calls the man she slept with via payphone and tells him she's pregnant but doesn't intend to keep it. When she goes home to her family, she busies herself scrubbing the dishes. Her mother tells her she used the wrong sponge and urges her to study instead. And says she doesn't feel like studying, and her mother scolds her. She talks back to her mother, earning her a slap. Growing increasingly desperate, and attempts to perform an abortion on herself with a knitting needle. She prepares towels and sterilizes the needle with a lighter. With the help of a lamp and a mirror, she inserts the needle inside herself, attempting to induce a miscarriage. She does the procedure even if she suffers from blood loss and pain. And returns to her doctor the next day, saying he left her with no choice. The doctor tells her he disapproves of her choice but understands her reason. He tells her that her procedure failed and that the fetus withstood it, so she's still pregnant. She tried everything, even going to another doctor, who prescribed her shots. He explains that the other doctor lied about the shot and that it only strengthened the embryo. He apologizes for her circumstances and tells her to accept them as she has no choice. It has been nine weeks since Anne's last period. She rides a train and meets with Maxime, who's happy they finally meet again. She tells him she couldn't find a solution to her problem, and he's shocked to learn she's still pregnant, which leads them to an argument. His friends invite them to the beach, and she reluctantly accompanies him. She goes swimming, but Maxime calls her to stop as she's swimming too far, and the current is too strong. He believes she's trying to harm herself. Fortunately, and eventually stops and comes back to shore. Back in his place, they argue about it again. Since he's no help, and leaves him, saying she will manage it independently, and returns to school. It has been 10 weeks since Anne's last period. At school, she is distracted and has difficulty following along in class. At night, Jean calls Anne and reluctantly follows him. Jean introduces her to a friend, Lady Xia, who he claims will help her. Lady Xia has had an abortion, and she gives her a paper with a woman's address, Miss Riviere. She assures her that she helped handle her problem and explains that the abortion will be painful. She also advises her to think of something else during the procedure to relieve the pain. However, it's not cheap as it will cost in 400 francs up front. She offers to lend her money, but Anne declines it, saying she will manage independently. Soon, Anne sells all her books and precious necklace to afford the abortion. After she had come up with the money, she called the number, and the woman scheduled their appointment. Later, she celebrates on her own, buying a beer for herself. Then, the guy who asked her out previously approaches her, and they have an intimate moment that night, with Anne taking the lead. Back in her dorm, Alain approaches her and tells her of a time when she had sexual relations with a man. The revelation shocked Anne, thinking Alain was a prude, so she didn't help her. Lucky for her, she didn't get pregnant, unlike Anne. Alain asks if she knows what to do now, and Anne responds positively and makes amends. It has been 12 weeks since Anne's last period. She nervously goes to Miss Riviere's apartment. She anxiously awaits as the woman prepares her tools in her kitchen. When the woman is about to perform the procedure, she warns her not to make any noise, as the walls are thin. Anne quivers and whimpers in pain during the procedure as Miss Riviere inserts a wand. She tells Anne she will start miscarrying in 24 hours. The next day, Anne goes to her professor and asks for his latest lectures, wanting to catch up with his lessons. She explains that she had personal problems before, but now she can handle them and wants to continue her studies to graduate. Later, as she catches up with the lectures, she notices that she hasn't started to miscarry yet. So, 
She tries to hasten the miscarriage by carrying heavy books, hoping it will work, but it fails. That night, she returns to Miss Riviere, telling her it didn't work, so and insists on doing it again. Miss Riviere tells her there may be complications and inserts a second wand inside her. And decides to go through with a more painful procedure. Moments later, she groggily returns to her dorm and has a complicated and painful miscarriage. Olivia, a dorm mate, finds her as she cries out in pain. And goes to the bathroom as the miscarriage starts. Scared of looking down, she asks Olivia's assistance to cut the umbilical cord, which she does reluctantly. Olivia helps her go back to her room, but she notices Anne is losing too much blood and eventually passes out from blood loss. Olivia calls an ambulance to take her to the hospital, and Anne's case is labeled a miscarriage. The movie ends as Anne returns to school and takes her final exams. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this to help the channel out. Have a nice day.